Texas High School Coaches Convention this summer. He stood up and said, if you don't play with a fullback, we'll kick your ass. If you throw it 70 times a game, we'll kick your ass. And uh, he just got his ass kicked twice in a row and probably next week by a as well. So that did feel good. If that was an ass kicker, I'd love to see what last year was. But, you know, obviously it's all about what you've done for me lately. Nothing like some good old smack I talk. love me some Brett Bielema. He's right? awesome. Yeah. Uh, Said nobody ever. Awesome. <laughs> With that, we're going to play a little game here, guys, of take your pick. You each will have 10 seconds to uh, take your pick of two scenarios. So what better way to start here than better smack talker, Cliff Kingsbury or Brett Bielema few? Oh, Brett Bielema. Are you kidding me? That guy's taking it to a whole new level. I like Cliff Kingsbury, but he's only doing this because he won. Brett Bielema, he can talk even when he loses. No, no, no. There is no winner here. How about their first two seasons? Kingsbury 6 and 12 in conference play. Bielema 2 and 14. This is like two lame rappers engaging in a rapper beef with bad diss tracks. Nobody cares. Both irrelevant. Yeah, uh, Bielema, your record in the SEC is 2 and 14. He's going to be Just fine. So you know. It's going to work. And he uh, doesn't look like Ryan Gosling. He's underrated there. So. Let's go to the Big 12. Gerard Hurd did everything he could to help Texas come back in week three, uh, posting career highs in both rushing and passing yards, guys. So, Jay, is he more exciting as a runner or as a passer? I'm gonna make you guys all upset because I'm gonna say both. Why? Because think about the formula for Pick success a with the long Pick horns. A lane. The dual threat thing <laughs> works. Vince Young, Colt McCoy. Could it be Gerard Hurd next? They want to see both. It excites the fan base. It gives them hope. I like him running the ball. Obviously, he's got to turn into a little bit sharper of a passer. That's gonna come with the more reps. Right now, when he's in the open field, he's electrifying. Texas needs something to hang its hat on. That's him running the ball. And they need their kicker to make that extra point. That would um, help. Moving on to a couple moments from the Florida State BC game. Better show of strength. BC Steven Daniels running over the FSU line, oh, or Everett sweet. Golson's massive block. Golson kind of sneaked him. He got him yeah. with the okey doke right there. Whereas Steven Daniels, that's a grown man strength. He knocked over a lineman, 6'6, 330 pounds. And oh, by the way, guys, he's from Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> Shout out to St. Xavier High School, my alma mater. Mr. Daniels, get done. Yeah, I'm going to go with Steven Daniels. Basically, all of Everett Golson did was stand there and get in the way. Uh, that was just a big time pop. I love watching that stuff. Finally, we're going to head to the Mountain West here, guys. More impressive touchdown catch. Was it Nevada's Hassan Henderson versus, I love this name, Hollywood Higgins of Colorado State? I would give it to Higgins based on his hair alone, but the Henderson catch was just better. It just is just an amazing grab. He has found a way to make it happen. Came right to him. Higgins catch, pretty amazing. Going with the other one. Look, that Henderson catch, it's got to be that one. I mean, that's assault. You get 5 to 10 for that, <laughs> depending on the area code you're in. To make that catch to get it done, you got to give it to Hassan. Very exciting video, catches, beef, all of the rest of it. Who doesn't love good video? That's true. Who doesn't love good video? I love good video. I'm impressed that you both kept it under 10 seconds. That was very impressive to me. Uh, good job. Dude, that's that one, I'm still time. letting that one go. <laughs>